Hello, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's motherfucking womb in this bitch. <laughs> Join me as I read you your lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome in to this Piscean Moon reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Piscean Moon gods. So, this is going to be a freestyle spread for my moon sign. I didn't get to complete the series and I, because I got sick. So, we're going to do something new and we're going to start this. Um, this is going to be, it could be timeless, all right? But I'm going to date this motherfucker how I want to. It's going to be from the 5th, from this eclipse, all the way until the 15th of June 2020, okay? So, let's find out what's going on with my Piscean moons. I just want an overall message, spirit. Give me an overall message for my Piscean moons. This is going to be a freestyle spread. So whatever happens, happens. Whatever stays in tarot. <laughs> How the hell am I gonna say this? Whatever happens in tarot stays in tarot. <laughs> so here we go. Piscean moon, 5th through the 15th. Ace of Pentacles, very first card off top. So some of you guys are getting ready to obtain something golden, honey. This is definitely you seeing through a lot of dark times. I'm feeling like some of you guys are going to have a very special prized possession in your hand with this Ace of Pentacles, okay? Uh, I feel like this is a new opportunity. This could be a ring as well, okay, that you're getting ready to obtain because I feel like she has been waiting for quite some time. She's analyzing how long it's been. It's been a long time coming, Piscean Moons. So I, I feel with the Ace of Pentacles here, you have some new beginnings. This could be offers. This could be offers of rings, love. This could be offers uh, financial, okay? Somebody giving you opportunities. But definitely a new turn, okay? Ace of Pentacles is indicating to me you guys have a new beginning or something is definitely getting ready to start Piscean Moons. So let's see what else comes out. I do keep seeing that Ace of Wands energy here. So there could be uh, something going on within an institution, but I feel like somebody might be getting some things from, this could be from a bank. There could be something that's going on with your bank. Uh, uh, all of a sudden, um, stash or some sort of money all of a sudden with the Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles here. Also the Will of Fortune. I feel like some of you guys have major ideas that are turning in this will, okay? And wherever it stops, you're definitely thinking about um, when it stops, what you're going to be concentrating on, the destination, okay? So I feel like you guys definitely have a lot of things going on. Uh, I'm seeing many, many things here. You could be dealing with an uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, I see with the Hierophant energy, you could be making peace as well. But with the Ace of Pentacles, you're definitely holding a prized possession. Or somebody could be holding your possessions as well with this Hierophant. Okay, because it could be an official building, an official place that you're dealing with. But I'm seeing bank institutions. I'm seeing transactions um, online that are happening with the Hierophant. Something that could go viral as well too. Definitely a new start or a new beginning that you're getting ready to... Uh, obtain okay so uh let's see what else we have here for my piscean moons for the fifth through the 15th all right could be dealing with leo sagittarius aries energy i'm also getting virgo towards capricorn with this king of pentacles here somebody might be feeling hurt okay there might have been some things or some words that were exchanged or said okay 
that somebody feels as though they've had to block themselves, guard themselves. I mean, the bitch is hurt, okay? So somebody could be hurting around you. This could be uh, somebody who's needing to seek out a new financial opportunity or a material gain here, okay? Um, I feel like this person could be overindulgent as well. They got their wine <laughs> and their cake in their hand, but I'm seeing bulls as well, as well too. So it could be torn energy that you're dealing with, Piscean Moon, but I'm seeing there's definitely uh, a Leo Sagittarius Aries that could be in the mix stirring the pot all right you have the eight of wands the knight of wands the four of wands here and the hangman so somebody's definitely letting go of a situation that they had some sort of turnaround or they could have thought in a different perception or was needing to see things in a different way with that hangman energy but they weren't allowing themselves to let that situation go all the way but I feel, quite frankly, some of you guys already knew, um, you know, the issues of the situation of this person. It's definitely going to be a decision that's being made here, okay? Two of pentacles in reverse. Could have been somebody that was multitasking two different energies, two different people. But I'm getting that with the... Two of Pentacles, there's a major decision that's going to be made with fairness and balance. Now, there could be some judicial things going on with this judgment and the justice coming together. These messages are coming like a motherfucker, Piscean Moon. So, whether you feel like something wasn't justified, I feel it's going to go into your favor with this judgment energy. You are going to be shown favoritism, okay? I feel like the universe, the ancestors, whoever it is that you believe in, is definitely going to show you in your favor the truth, okay? Um, a justice energy could be Libra as well. The major arcanas that I have here so far um, are indicating me to me that there could be some legalities or some things um, morally that you're going to be changing up and making decisions to. That's definitely what I'm seeing here. Give me another spread. What else do they need to know? Give me another spread, spirits. Okay, here we go. One more shuffle. Okay. Let me do one more. <laughs> Got that king of pentacles again, once again. So you can deal with a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Tauren. All right. But I feel um, there's somebody that you're going to have to definitely think about soulmate connection wise. Okay. A soulmate can be anyone, anything that you have a connection to on this earth that's far greater than what you've had connections to with other things. And I feel like you're going to have to really dig deep and do some soul searching. Yeah, there's a sun energy here. So you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, definitely Leo with the sun. Okay, or you could be dealing with somebody's sun. But I feel like um, Piscean Moon, a lot of you guys, yeah, there's that King of Pentacles again. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone that's at a distance. But I feel like they're getting ready to have some sort of exposure. You got the world energy here. So you could be dealing with a fixed sign, but I see that there is some truth. Whether this is you or any someone else, I feel like there's going to be some happiness with this truth that comes out with the sun energy here. Okay, because the sun does mean vitality. And I feel there's going to be some sort of vitality that this person either wants or you're wanting from them. But with the world energy here, I feel like there's going to be a great um, deal of feeling complete. Okay, Nine of Cups here too as well. Give me any other information that Piscean Moon needs to know for the 5th through the 15th. You got the star energy here, Aquarian. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles here. So definitely a financial opportunity that could be coming up. I feel some of you guys are starting to see individualism or you're starting to practice individualism with this Nine of Pentacles energy here, okay? And to me, that could be you finding yourself, the things that you're discovering within yourself with this Nine of Pentacles. You also could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, because I'm getting a lot of Earth energy here. But with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, 
I feel like there's a beginning and there's an end that you're really thinking about. It could be obtaining a financial new start and then wanting to concentrate on romance or endeavors or the offers that people are gonna have for you with the Ace of Cups here, but you're also understanding your individualism because I'm seeing a lot of butterflies that could be significant to you or you could be seeing butterflies. But it's definitely a message saying that you're going through a transformation in your, in, in your individuality and you're very expressive. Some of you guys could be dealing with um, somebody who's taking pictures or there could be a lot of photos that are being taken or there's definitely a lot of discovery of self, okay? But I'm getting with the Ace of Cups here, you got a lot of love or a love offer that could be coming in. It could be a Kansetian energy with the chariots. I'm also seeing um, with the Five of Wands here in reverse, the Ten of Swords, you guys are definitely recovering or coming, uh, overcoming a lot of um, struggles with others, okay? You're gonna be seeing how you are metamorphosizing, all right? That's what I'm getting here, Piscean Moon. You got the devil in reverse, so you're letting go, you're transforming. There, there definitely could be an earth sign that you're dealing with. I feel possible outcome, Something is, someone is coming towards you with an offer. This could be a celebration, a party, Okay, someone's birthday party. I'm also getting, um, this could be somebody that is wanting to come towards you to uplift the energy. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of singing and dancing. Could be somebody who's very artistic in expression. So, let's see what the um, Romance angels have to say, I'm seeing someone is definitely coming to an understanding of their individualism, like I said, understanding how it is to be single and still love at the same time. But I also feel um, there's someone who's going to be coming your way uh, very soon. Okay, this could be a message as well of love, because I'm getting a lot of love out the cards, baby. So let's see what the romance angels have to say. Playfulness, uh oh to recapture romance and allow your inner youthful spirits of fun to shine. So yeah, somebody's definitely coming back to bring in this youth, youth, youthful, wholesome energy. And I feel as you're recapturing that, you're starting to see how beautiful you're transforming, okay? Now, in love, I do see that you deserve love, and there's going to be some chemistry that's coming up for some of you Piscean moons, or somebody's going to be shooting out some messages to you or back and forth to you. But I feel like it's saying you're gonna, you've been taking care of yourself, and if you haven't, it's going to show. But the chemistry is definitely going to be there, and I feel like a lot of you guys are going to have heightened uh, esteem, whether it's in a relationship or by yourself. There's definitely something, uh, finances and career. You guys could have been traveling. There could have been some sort of travel that you're gonna be, that's gonna be taking place. Uh, but I also feel like you're gonna be reaching your goals with that Ace of Pentacles for sure. So let's get a Oracle for my Piscean moons. For the fifth through the 15th of motherfucking June, 2020 up in this bitch. Yeah, you guys got a lot of learning to do of just being lighthearted, okay? Just smiling through it all, not taking things seriously. I feel like some of you guys definitely could be getting rid of a lot of um, parties that aren't necessary in your life, okay? This could be a lot of toxicity that's um, ridding itself, cleansing itself, all right, especially with that devil, could have been some lower level energy or just thoughts and feelings overall that could have been surrounding you. And since it's in reverse, I feel like there's going to be a healthy turnabout. So here we go. Guidance, but where will it lead you? Okay. So I feel like you guys already have the light. Okay. And you're looking to where you're going. This could be in a relationship. This could be emotionally as well because you know the moon is all about your hidden emotions, all right? And working too hard. Some of you guys need to just relax and go with the flow. And there's definitely something that's coming up on the horizon that you're gonna have to question your fears, all right? Um, yeah, say it's time to be brave, shit. <laughs> and to be your true self. Nobody wants somebody who's pretending 
or you know you could be surrounded by pretenders but I feel like somebody just wants you to be who you are some of you guys need to let go of a lot of um, feelings of emotions that aren't being said aren't being expressed because it's gonna come out in your personality day to day some of you guys could have been suffering from depression or dealing with depression but I do feel like there's a main goal that's coming up for a lot of you guys so definitely take heed to that you have new opportunities and new beginnings in love some of you guys might be needing to take a break and actually enjoy the fucking moment smell the goddamn roses all right but it's saying you definitely have some things coming up and love and a lot of chemistry between you and your partner all right my loves i'm gonna get on out of here i hope you enjoy this series and i will see you all in the next motherfucking video peace <laughs>